Chaita. Thank you. All right. Asante Daktari. The relationship between the United States and Kenya, as you know, was recently elevated to a strategic partnership. This elevated status means that we commit to hold each other accountable. Today, we are making um, a promise come true between President Trump and President Kenyatta. And that is by donating 200 ventilators to Kenya that can be used to treat critically ill COVID-19 patients and those who require breathing support for other conditions. And we look forward to uh, His Excellency Kenyatta officially receiving these in the near future. The United States' foremost goal is for the ventilators to be used immediately and, and effectively to assist the people of Kenya. Work is still ongoing to select the healthcare facilities where USAID will deliver the ventilators. USAID is working closely with national and county governments to ensure full accountability and transparency for this donation. Uh, I look forward to getting out to the field to, per, to personally see these ventilators in action, which you too will be able to see as they're delivered on Facebook Live. And so now I want to introduce um, our acting administrator for USAID, John Barsa, who's come, I will say, to his first time in, in Africa. He's come to be here with us in Kenya. So we should be very honored. Don't worry about it. Now it's safe to use. Hello in Hamjumbo. I'm John Barsa, Acting Administrator for the U.S. Agency for International Development, or USAID. It's an honor to speak with you all today. The United States and Kenya have enjoyed a deep partnership and friendship for many decades. We have worked together for nearly 60 years in many areas, including to mitigate the spread of infectious diseases by building up health systems and infrastructure. With the outset of the deadly COVID-19 pandemic, USAID has been an important partner in Kenya's response. We've worked with the government of Kenya and local and international organizations to provide equipment, increased testing, and enhanced research capacity. Our programs have improved water, sanitation, and hygiene infrastructure, ensured children have access to an education, helped keep Kenyans employed, and bolstered the systems that bring food from farms to markets. In addition to the $50 million that we have already committed to Kenya's COVID-19 response, I'm pleased to announce today that we are donating 200 state-of-the-art ventilators to support the Kenyan people. This donation marks an important milestone in the U.S. government's support for Kenya as we fight the pandemic together. Like our decades-long support, the donation of these ventilators is based on a relationship of partnership and mutual respect. For more than half a century, the U.S. has been the world's largest contributor to global health security and humanitarian assistance. We continue to help friends and allies with the pandemic response, and we are leading the global response to COVID-19 through an all-of-America approach that includes businesses, non-government organizations, faith-based groups, and more. In Kenya, our commitment has included nearly $5.25 billion, or $570 billion Kenyan shillings, since 2010 to improve the health of Kenyans through service for HIV, maternal and child health, malaria, and tuberculosis. Our support is extensive, and Kenya consistently ranks among the countries in Sub-Saharan Africa that receive the most support from the United States. COVID-19 can make it difficult for patients to breathe without assistance. These ventilators will enable health providers in Kenya to deliver quality care that could save lives. This donation complements Kenya's ongoing efforts to combat COVID-19 and demonstrates the continued commitment of the United States to support Kenyans through this crisis. American manufacturing is among the best in the world, and the United States is proud to deliver these ventilators made in the USAID to Kenya. The provision of these brand new, high quality ventilators is possible through the generosity of the American people and the innovation of American private industry. And not only are we delivering these state-of-the-art ventilators, we are also providing the training necessary to properly operate them 
and consumables needed to put them to use. In addition, these ventilators come with a one-year service agreement to ensure that they remain ready to use when they are needed most. While other countries have swept in to provide temporary assistance in, in exchange for a photo op, USAID is building on our strong history of cooperation with Kenya to achieve durable results. When this crisis passes, Kenya will have stronger systems in health, education, and food security thanks to USAID's support. We are proud of this model of assistance that sees countries like Kenya as true partners with shared goals rather than a resource to be exploited. Again, it is a pleasure to be able to celebrate this delivery and the deeper history and respect between the U.S. and Kenya. We look forward to our continued partnership and collaboration. Thank you, Dr. Aman, for your time and for your work with USAID in service to the people of Kenya. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Barsa and uh, His Excellency uh, Kyle Makata. I want to say once more again, we're 